Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, after a very, very long time, uh, we have come again on a very important topic. And I was just thinking, which topic is to be selected for this episode? And then I explored various topics. And the one topic which I found is very prevalent among the seekers, among the people who go in satsangs, etc., is the concept of sound or what is known in Hindi or in Sanskrit. It is Shabd or Sabad. So I think you all must be aware of this word Sabad. Or Shabd. What is this? This is the primary question. Many people believing in different systems or belonging to different system or belief system, they interpret the concept of sound or Shabd differently. And this is very strange that their interpretations are different. The truth is one, but their interpretations are different, which is a very strange thing. If truth is one, then interpretation, interpretation must be one. There cannot be different interpretations. It means there must be one interpretation which is correct, which is true and all the others are not true. Why it happens? This is the question. The people who are seekers but do not have the direct experience. When I say direct experience, it means experience not of time experience without the interference of time, without the interference of thoughts. This is the real experience. The experience which always abides, which is always there with you, regardless of space, regardless of time. This is the real experience. So the person who is experienced, who is realized, Realized in the sense that he knows or he is in direct experience of what truth is or whatever is there in the existence, he is directly in perception with it. He is directly perceiving the truth. That person can interpret the Shabad or the sound correctly and whatever he will say about it will be true and interpretation will be true or correct. So this is the reason why there are different interpretations because there are seekers but there is very very rare person who is realized who is in direct perception of the truth. Some says that Om is Shabad. Om is the real Shabad, the ultimate, the second name of God, Om. This is Shabad. Some people belonging to a particular sect, they say the Kirtan or Bhajan, whatever they sing in the appreciation of God or Lord. Okay, this is what they call Sabbat. Some people say, who is the worshipper of Guru, whatever his or her Guru says, that is the ultimate Sabbat. That is Sabbat. Some Guru gives some kind of mantra then their disciples say this mantra is 
what Shabbat is. This is the Shabbat. You must be wondering, okay, what is the real meaning of Shabbat? Because Shabbat is the very foundation of life. According to Saint Kabir, whatever exists in the life, it is because of the Shabbat. Whatever has originated, it is because of the Shabbat. So, after this whole existence, the root cause is Shabbat. And he says this very rightly. But who understand this? We can hear this and we can take, we take it usually as an information. And the same information we convey to others. But we don't seem to be understanding the real meaning of Shabbat. What does it mean when he says the space, the you know, Agni, the air, all the five elements, okay, they have been, they originated okay, because of this Shabbat. The whole existence originated out of Shabbat. The whole life is vibrating of this from this Shabbat. From the yogic science of yogic science point of view, because I can give the perspective of yogic science about this Shabbat. A few months before, when I was uploading the videos on the regular basis on different subjects. I used to explain the three principles, the first principle, the third prin second principle and the third principle. In yogic science, there is the first principle. And first principle means non-dual energy, the energy in which there is no duality, one energy, there is only one. And this energy does not know the other. There is no otherness in this energy. Okay, so this is the first principle in your sense. And there is nothing but this energy. And since there is no duality, there is no question of anything else but itself. So this first principle, this one principle is the only life. There is no variety, etc. etc. I don't want to go into this because when I'll explain more about this first principle, okay, you might get confused. But let us understand very simply that the first principle is nothing but the energy of non duality. There is no sense of other. When in this non dual first principle, there arises the second principle, means this existence of one energy, it breaks into two forms of, of energy. The energy of Prakriti and the energy of Paramatma or the pure consciousness and the, you can say, unconscious energy or the Prakriti. So, in the second principle only, the sound or originally it is called Dhvani, it gets originated in the second principle. The moment it breaks into two, there is the presence of sound energy. So the energy of consciousness, pure consciousness, it possesses many attributes. One of them is the sound energy. So it possesses attributes like it is, uh, it is composed of sound energy, light energy, it has speed, velocity, Right. So these are the attributes of this energy of Paramatma. 
or pure consciousness. But this is the original sound, original dhvani. And when this dhvani, this sound falls upon the prakriti, then the elements of prakriti, all the particles of prakriti, they vibrate with the sound energy. And this vibration happens in a rhythm. It is not non-rhythmic vibration. It is a melodious rhythm. So this rhythm of sound energy is what Shabda is or Sabad is. What Kabir is referring to, okay, he is referring to this rhythmic sound energy. Because due to this rhythm of sound energy, everything is getting created. And when there is disturbance in this rhythm of the sound energy of any system, be it a plant, insect, animal, human being, small particle, electron, proton, even smaller and smaller than these particles, subatomic particles, whatever exists, it exists because of this rhythmic sound energy. This rhythm is what is known as Sabad. And when this Sabad is disturbed, then there is destruction of the system. Right? So there is the melodious rhythm of the sound energy. And when this rhythm is lost, okay, that system gets destroyed. Again, the energy gets again. It, it, it becomes rhythmic, becoming sound energy, becoming rhythmic means something is being formed, something is being created in the system. And if this rhythm is lost, then life is lost, then the system is lost. For instance, right now I'm live, I've got live, I'm talking to you, you're listening to me, okay. I have got a certain rhythm, certain sabbath. My sabbath is different from you because you are vibrating, okay, with a different rhythm, okay, a slight difference. And this difference is more pronounced, okay, if we compare the rhythm of a human being and the rhythm of a, an animal, right? So difference is that of the rhythm of the same sound energy. Now, when I die, it means what? My rhythmic sound gets disturbed. My sabbat gets disturbed. Okay. And when it gets disturbed, okay, there cannot be my existence. I cannot exist. And ultimately, I die. This is what happens with every system. This is just an example. So this is the real sabbat according to yogic science. Now, I would request uh, our respected Sharmaji to shed some light on the concept of Sabad or Shabd okay, from the yogic science point of view in Hindi. Ye yogic science ke madhyam se abhi aapne jo bataya, wo bahut achha bataya. इसमें थोड़ा और जोड़ना चाहेंगे कि जैसे युग साइंस के माध्यम से अगर जैसे रिदम कोई चीज है या शब्द है तो उसमें जो शब्द इसलिए या ध्वनि है या उसकी लय है तो इसमें जो एक अंतर अंतराल जिसे बोलते हैं अंतराल जो बीच का आ रहा है एक तरफ ज्यादा एक तरफ कम तो इसके अंतराल में हमारे युगिक साइंस में हमने ये पहले भी ये कहा है कि जो परमात्मा नीचे की तरफ गिरता है तो ऊपर जो साउंड है वो मैग्नेट सिस्टम हल्का है और नीचे की तरफ उसमें घनत्व तो ज्यादा है तो उसकी वजह से उसमें अंतराल आता है शब्द में अंतराल आता है कि वो नीचे की तरफ घनत्व तो है वहां साउंड अलग है और ऊपर घनत्व तो कम है तो उसका साउंड अलग है ऊपर से नीचे गिरता है फिर एक जो हमने अपने योगिक साइंस के माध्यम से बोलते हैं परमात्मा प्रकृति के बाहर बाहर चलता है तो वो बाहर बाहर चला फिर वो अपने आप उसी गति से अपने आप उठता है 
तो उसमें साउंड अलग है तो आगे पीछे का साउंड अलग है और ऊपर नीचे का साउंड अलग इसे हम अंतराल कहते हैं तो जो अंतराल है तो ये अंतराल की इसके लय भी कहा जा सकता है शब्द में जो ये एक जिसे हम शब्द कहते हैं जिसे हम बोल पा रहे हैं या कोई चीज हमारे सामने लिखी रखी है तो वो हमारे अंदर से प्रकट होती है लिखी हुई तो प्रकट नहीं हो सकती तो हमारे अंदर से प्रकट होती है तो अंदर से बाहर की चीज अंदर से जब प्रकट होती है बाहर से बाहर नहीं प्रकट हो सकती तो इसलिए वो अंदर से प्रकट होती है तो हम कहते हैं परमात्मा जो है ना अपने शब्द के अनुसार जो ध्वनि या गति और उसकी प्रकाश प्रकाश है और उसकी पावर है वो अंदर में जो उसके है प्रकृति के अंदर में है तो उसमें जो अंदर में है तो उसके चलने के कारण अंतराल है उसमें इसलिए वो शब्दों में हम शब्द कह सकते हैं उसको या उसको हम किसी बातचीत में कर सकते हैं तो ऊंची नीची जो आवाजें हो रही हैं ये ऊंची नीची आवाजें उसी के कारण होती हैं अंतराल होते थे हम बोल रहे हैं तो दोनों तरफ अंतराल है तो यौगिक साइंस में हमने ये चीज हमारे अनुभव के सिद्धांत से बोल रहे हैं बाकी कहीं से किसी की उठाई नहीं है बाकी शब्द ही आकाश शब्द ही पाताल शब्द ही वो ठीक है वो बहुत अच्छी बात है कि हर चीज जो है ऊपर आकाश पाताल को वो ऊपर नीचे कह रहे हैं अंतराल की बात कर रहे हैं तो वो शब्द ही बता रहे हैं तो हम इसमें शब्द ध्वनि और लय हम उसके और उस स्वर जो उसमें आ रहा है स्वर जिसे हम जिसके माध्यम से हम बोल पा रहे तो ये सारे अंतराल सिस्टम है ये अंतराल सिस्टम को हमारे साइंस में बहुत गहराई से आप पीछे एपिसोड में देखेंगे तो बहुत चीजें समझ में आती हैं कि वो किस तरीके से हमने उसमें बोला है बाकी अभी सत्येंद्र जी ने बताया कि शब्द जो गुरु और ये सब जो है ना अलग अलग तरीके से देते हैं वो उनकी अपनी है मगर हम बेसिक सिद्धांत जहां से शब्द की शब्द के जन्म हो रहा है जहां से प्रकट हो रहा है हम वहां की बात कर रहे हैं हम वहां की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं कि जहाँ लोगों ने और गुरुओं ने और हमारे शास्त्र ने लिखा किसी ने और व्याख्या करी किसी ने हम वहां पे नहीं बात कर रहे हम बात कर रहे हैं बेसिक चीज पे तो हमारी बेसिक चीज योगिक साइंस में हम हमेशा बेसिक और उपजने वाली जगह जहाँ उपज हो रही है हम वहां पे बात करते हैं तो ये शब्द के बारे में मुझे इसी इतने कहते हैं फ्रेंड्स सो शर्मा जी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एक्सप्लेन हाउ दिस शब्द इज बिंग ओरिजिनेटेड ओके इट इज ड्यू टू दिफरेंस इन द magnetic system of the prakriti okay so the magnetism is different okay that is why the energy of consciousness or the energy of parmatma okay it there is a difference okay the gap right G- gap of the magnetism okay and due to this this shabd is being originated otherwise the energy of parmatma is one in the first principle they are one in the second principle they became two and from that moment there is the origination of this shabd and in the prakriti there are different magnetic systems right somewhere density is more somewhere density is very very rare not very dense okay so there is a difference right so i hope you must have uh, understood even a little bit about what shabad is what is the real concept of sound which or due to which the whole existence originated and the whole life is working so friends in the next episode i'll come up with again very very important topic of spiritualism thank you very much